All right, I want to take a couple minutes here to talk about the safety issues with the scroll saw. So obviously this is a saw, it's got a saw blade, and even though the teeth on these blades are very small, um, they are absolutely sharp enough and moving fast enough to hurt you, to cut your fingers, to cut your skin. Now, while this injury is likely not going to be as bad as say an injury at the radial arm saw or the band saw or the table saw, it's still going to hurt. Um, and so we're gonna do what we can to avoid that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we keep our hands out of the direct cut path of the blade. The blade is cutting in a straight line um, in line with the guard. So when we're making our cuts, we're always gonna have our hands off to the sides of the blade. That way, if we slip, our hands simply slip past the blade instead of potentially slipping into the blade. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Second, in our shop, we operate with a four inch safety rule. The scroll saw, because of the way it operates and because of the type of blade that it takes, at this machine, we're gonna operate with a two inch safety rule. This is an exception to the normal four inch safety rule that we use. So two inches away from the blade, not keeping our hands in line with the blade. Um, we're always gonna make sure we have our guard adjusted and in place. Having this guard properly adjusted down on our workpiece greatly reduces the possibility of our fingers slipping into that blade while we're making our cut. Properly adjusted blade, hands to the side, hands uh, two inches away from the blade. We're always gonna have our safety glasses on, even though the blade primarily cuts on the downward stroke and there's not a lot of sawdust getting kicked up into the air, we still always wear our safety glasses all the time in our shop, okay? You never come in here without your safety glasses on. Lastly, we're gonna be mindful of our hair, our loose clothing. It is possible for those things to get caught up in this blade and for your hands or your hair or something to get pulled down in there. So we're gonna be mindful of those things as well. Another common situation that is potentially dangerous at the scroll saw is making a cut on a really small or an irregularly shaped piece of material. And so we're gonna use a clamp or a jig or a fixture to hold those work pieces to keep our hands safe as we're making these cuts. A common clamp to use is one called a parallel hand screw, and I will show you one of those now. This is a parallel hand screw clamp, and the reason we like this clamp for holding a workpiece at a machine like the scroll saw is it allows us to secure our workpiece in between these jaws and then set these jaws flat on the table and manipulate our workpiece. This is a really great clamp to use at the scroll saw to hold a small piece like this to keep your fingers away. 